So this segment is about becoming a trusted committer. So you will learn what it takes to fill the trusted committer role and also what the path towards trusted committership looks like. As we said in the beginning, the trusted committer role is very demanding, but at the same time, very fulfilling. If we've interested you in the role of trusted committer, you may be asking yourself now, well, how do I even become one? And am I the right kind of person to be one? And in open source communities, we follow the same principles as the open source communities do, two of which are meritocracy and transparency. In a meritocracy, the power is vested in individuals based on their effort, their talent, and also their achievements. And because of that, in the open source community, the trusted committer role has to be earned. And also, the other principle which is important is transparency. And because of transparency, the effort, the achievements, and the talent of those contributors is visible to the rest of the community. The process of officially becoming a trusted committer varies from community to community and is influenced by where the company is on its inner source journey as well. And it might evolve over time. So it's really common in grassroots efforts for the original founder of the effort to assume the trusted committer role. But over time, they may decide to nominate an excellent contributor to join them as a trusted committer. And this process of adding trusted committers is a really healthy thing because it's another form of, of, of recognition, but it also spreads the work out more widely. Now that nomination may or may not be subject to a community vote. It depends on the practice of the community. And um, at the end of the day, the person who's nominated should accept the appointment voluntarily rather than being assigned because it helps a lot with their commitment to hold up their end. So what are the criteria to apply when selecting someone for the trusted committer role? What does it take to successfully fill that role? Well, Denise already mentioned one of these, that is a deep technical competence demonstrated in the community. And in addition to that, trusted committer candidates should also have shown that they are able to communicate both with peers in the community, but also ideally with uh, roles outside of the community, such as managers or the product owner, for instance. And also, it must be clear that they are willing and able to apply their skills in leveling up the peer contributors in the community so that they can make contributions which they would have not been able to make on their own. And finally, trusted committers also need a certain level of emotional maturity because they will have to deal eventually with some stressful situations. Those are bound to come up in the community. And we think that uh, contributors which fulfill all these criteria will make for good trusted committers. For some contributors, the trusted committer role may not appear as attractive uh, because it means spending less time actually coding. And being nominated as a trusted committer can feel like a demotion or even a negative comment on your coding skills. But I can assure you that the opposite is always true. You have to be excellent at both of those things to even be considered as a trusted committer. Being nominated is most often a sign that someone has recognized that you are both ready to grow and that you are already growing. And so they want to give you opportunities to do that faster. The trusted committer role will give you more influence over the evolution of the code base. And the wider perspective that trusted committership affords will make you a more complete developer. So it's a good career move to spend at least part of your time being a trusted committer. As any trainer will tell you, explaining something to someone else gives you more ownership over that information. And in the case of trusted committers, explaining how to contribute to a given code base means that they understand the code base even better than they did before. Often it helps them see new ways to enhance the code base that they couldn't see before. In my community, we had multiple trusted committers. And it was the group of trusted committers who nominated contributors to become trusted committers. And we had many people with deep technical expertise but we always made it a point to only then nominate someone as a trusted committer when they have demonstrated their willingness to make social contributions to the community as well on their own initiative, such as helping other contributors to get their contribution ready for, uh, for merging, uh, or supporting users in support forums or representing the community on a company event. Whether or not you have one or multiple trusted committers depends on the size and the risk of the software that your inner source community is developing. The trusted committer role is, is time consuming and not everyone 
that is nominated to it can give it 100% of their time. And this is why in some companies they've come up with a trusted committer rotation plan. So they have multiple trusted committers, but at any given time, not all of them are, are available to do trusted committer work. An off-duty trusted committer goes back to being a regular contributor and can focus exclusively on technical oriented tasks. There's one more reason why you would probably want to have multiple trusted committers in your project. And that is to prepare for the inevitable case that one of your trusted committers will leave the community, be it because they're no longer interested, because they are moving on to another position in the company, or they, because they might leave the company altogether. And here it is super helpful to have more than one trusted committer because then they can jump in that, uh, in the, in that place and ensure continuity in the community. So in summary, the trusted committer role has to be earned in the community by being valuable already, already making contributions, both technical and social contributions. It's an honor to become a trusted committer, and it's also great for your career. In a healthy community, you will have fellow trusted committers at your side. And as a trusted committer, you will have less time to actually code yourself. But because of the force multiplier aspect of trusted committing, you will be responsible for more contributions than you could contribute yourself in the same amount of time.